Hello viewers and welcome to the 18 plus area then at the Eurogamer Expo. Here we see Wolfenstein and we've got this big robotic dog looking thing. Looks like something out of uh, Ghostbusters, something like that. Very interesting display there, but, but cool all the same. Wolfenstein, of course, running around, shooting people in the face. Uh, much more sort of old school Doom style. Walk around here and we've got Assassin's Creed Black Flag, of course. Very nice. We saw this at uh, Gamescom behind closed doors. Lots of players getting here a chance to play on this version. Of course, play on the PS4 version as well, which of course visually looks really nice. Yeah, it's just that step up, isn't it? It's not necessarily a different game, but it's not to have, give a different experience because of the power offered by the console. Let's have a, let's have a stroll around and we can see behind me here the uh, queue for Titanfall. Massive queues all the way along there. Those guys, they queue up round the end and then after that they listen to a demonstration, five minutes on how to play the game. So actually give you all the advice you need, what the buttons are, everything else, so that when you sit down, you choose your character, you choose what mechs you want to use, you've got a good idea on how to do it. It's nice. Keeps the queue flowing. There are lots of Titanfall pods, we can't film those, but of course uh, lots of people are looking forward to that. It is one of the big games that's going to be coming out next year, no doubt many of you will be playing that, besides your usual driving game stuff. Let's go over this far side. Okay, so behind me now we have the uh, Watch Dogs area. Watch Dogs, it's a game they've been talking about a lot over the past year. Again, on the uh, next gen on console versions, has the potential to look really nice. It's one I look, look forward to playing. The Division's not here, that's one I was looking forward to. But certainly there's something there to look forward to. Dying Light, a lot of people looking forward to this one as well. Um, again, playable upstairs. We'll have to talk to a developer at some point about that one. I can give you a bit more information. Certainly uh, lots of people queuing to play it. You can see the queues here. We come round. So upstairs we've got another selection of displays of some of the different games that are going to be coming out. All 18 certificate as well as all the adult stuff. We can't show you all of this. And over there to my left you have Shadow Warrior, again, uh, that's being reviewed around now, so you'll see reviews up any time. Again, it's a uh, sort of samurai chopping action, something Qu Quentin Tarantino would probably enjoy. Behind me you see the huge Battlefield 4 stand. Now, uh, we've got two queues for the different modes you want to play. This is all running on Xbox Ones. We can't show you that, unfortunately. They've restricted all the filming on the Xbox Ones, but I can tell you that it runs very well indeed, surprisingly well. Good detail, 60 frames, certainly a showcase game for the system, but the queues for this one are quite long at the moment, something we'll look at later. Probably going to be a, a day one purchase for myself, definitely. Let's go over here and take another look. So here we are again now, uh, conquest mode area here again, you can see the queues. So it all goes around there, and then it comes back again a few times, and then you get onto these 32 Xbox Ones all lined up. It's an impressive display for the EA guys at the moment. One of the few Xbox selections of Xbox Ones, probably the biggest selection of Xbox Ones in the world at the moment. So that's it for the 18, it's all 18 plus area, and we'll take a look at uh, uh, other bits and pieces of the show. So still upstairs then, and here we see uh, one of the conference theatres where they show uh, the, the many conferences that are taking place, game developers going on stage, revealing new aspects of the game. Of course, for racing fans, Dan Greenwald was here yesterday, and today we're going to be seeing a bit more in Need for Speed Rivals as well, and you'll see our interview with the executive producer on the channel as we learn a few more details about the game. Certainly, there's a lot being kept under wraps at the moment, and we look forward to what's being shown at the conference here today, and of course this area will fill up, but we're going to head now into the main conference hall. All these seats will shortly be filled. Of course, this is shortly before the Need for Speed conference where we'll be learning a bit more about the game from the executive producer uh, and what you guys can be looking forward to, especially on the release on the new consoles. Uh, and it's a good opportunity for, for gamers to see the... Uh, the uh, uh, see the developers strut their stuff and what it's all about you know some of these trade shows so uh, uh, look at the conference there and we'll be showing a, a rundown of what's discussed here on the channel in the coming days uh, but that's it from me for now uh, we'll look at some other aspects of the show and as ever there'll be more from me very soon